podcast update. I hope you enjoyed the last one and find it useful. First of all, I would like to give my appreciation to everybody in the hospital who has been working on the accident and emergency standard. This involves clearly the emergency department, but also many other departments and areas. They've done extraordinarily well, and in May, we should, for the first time in eight months, be achieving the 95% standard. When we went down to monitor recently, they were very pleased with the improvements we've been making, but recognised with us that we've got a long way to go to make sure this is sustainable. The big changes that have been happening recently have been that we've been admitting fewer patients, and thankfully, winter seems to have abated, at least for the time being. This has meant that the bed areas have been under less pressure and the A&E department has been able to move patients through more quickly who need to be admitted. In terms of other standards, I'm really pleased to say that the myriad of other standards, at least 30 in number, are all being met on a continuing basis. We've been running the friends and family test since it was nationally launched on the 1st of April this year. And I'm extraordinarily pleased to be able to say that the vast majority of patients who have been using the test have said they are extremely likely to recommend us for their friends and family. The unfortunate part is our response rate has not been as good as it should be and we're hoping for a 20% at least response rate. We've only been achieving just over 5%. The main area where it's been difficult to get a response has been accident and emergency. And whilst those patients who have responded have shown that they are extremely likely to recommend us, the rates have been very low. What we've done is we've asked our volunteer force to help us to ensure that patients who are leaving the department after they've been cared for are able to actually tick the box that is relevant to their stay. I hope that this will improve the response rate because it's important that we understand what people are thinking so we can make the changes necessary. We've recently launched a patient's own drugs campaign and this is a perfect example of where we can not only do the right thing for patients but save money. This means that patients bring their own drugs in when they're brought in from home. We use special green bags to allow them to be secure and safe and ambulance crews and accident and emergency are using this system. What it does allow is that patients who particularly need their drugs on a timely basis, such as those perhaps with Parkinson's or epilepsy, can do so quickly. It makes admission quicker and discharge. It's an excellent process and one I would commend. As an organisation which runs community services in Stockport and Tameside and Glossop, our staff out in the community are really keen to promote the use of the MMR vaccination. Measles, as you know, has been a huge issue, particularly in South Wales, but in terms of the North West, there are growing numbers. This is causing concern, and particularly the community staff wanting to remind all of you in the public that you can have yourselves and your children vaccinated. My understanding is this vaccination, in fact, can even be given more than once. But if you contact your GP, they're likely to have your vaccination record and will be able to arrange for a vaccination for you. Recently, in our team brief, we were particularly asking our own staff to think about this because they and their friends and family are equally at risk. It's important that you're vaccinated, so please contact your GP if you've any doubts. Those of you who saw my podcast last month will know I was talking about the elections that are coming up for our governors. If you're a member of the Foundation Trust and you're involved in one of the wards where we're having elections, it's really important that you take the time to vote to ensure that governors are able to represent your own constituency in taking forward the working of the Trust. The areas that are involved are Bramwell and Cheadle, Marple and Stepping Hill, Tame Valley and Wernerth, and Tame Side and Glossop. Your voting packs should be out in the next few weeks, and I really do encourage you to use your opportunity to vote. And finally, I'm pleased to be able to announce some awards that have been given to us recently. I did mention to you that we've been shortlisted for four awards for the Student Nursing Awards, and I'm delighted to say that we won three of those the only NHS trust in the country to have done so. 
The winners were for Best Mentor, for Student Placement and for Partnership and that was one in conjunction with Manchester Met University. We also had another two winners, that was for the Northwest Adult Learners Week Awards and we had Sonia Edwards who is a district nurse in Stockport and Kath Ainsworth, a volunteer who won these prestigious awards. Yet again the organisation is showing that the care it gives, the services it gives are of an award winning category. Thank you.